Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super excited to be looking at this Lindy Hop video today. Folks, I'm going to tell you there are only a few Lindy Hoppers in the world that I would consider in my top 10 Lindy Hoppers list of all time. That's right, all time. That includes the future too, because I can read the future. You have to when you have children. This leader is one of the greatest swing dancers of all time. And I'm gonna tell you what, folks, do not let your hearts be troubled. I am gonna tell you exactly what I think about this video. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, Got a chance to hang out and just dance around with this dancer in a long time. And I haven't seen him dance in a long time. I don't know about this follower. I don't know if I've met her, Carol Martin. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. But I'm a bit nervous. I got to tell you. People are clapping on the wrong beat, folks. <laughs> on the wrong beat. <laughs> yes. So what you just saw is really his personality and, and dance. He's really f humorous and funny. He reminds me of Charlie Chaplin. <clears throat> I'm just curious to see what he's been working on technique wise. <laughs> okay, notice how he's able to move and stop with his partner at will and he's not putting any strain on his partner. This is a significant effort for the average leader, but he's not average, folks. So I don't know what to expect. He's moving and stopping so much that I can't tell what's going to happen, and I like that. Yes, good way to work that. Notice his height, he's not very tall. And his movements so far haven't been extremely difficult to do with his partner. The stuff I'm enjoying most is the impeccable timing. I can see every move. <laughs> Some silliness, yeah. Yeah, I see a, a tremendous amount of restraint in his dancing, which is amazing. I, it's it says a certain level of maturity for a dancer to to be aware of what they have to work on all the time to accomplish what they're looking for in their dancing, and. Um, it's amazing to see how fast um, he's been able to do some of the things that I noticed him working on. Lots of slides, just, oh man. <clears throat> so pay attention to the timing. You notice he's not just He's not just highlighting basic swing, which is just moving in swing time on the metronome with your partner. They're highlighting all of the solo instruments. They're playing around with all of the rhythms. But I'm fascinated because he's doing it with his partner with such control. His personality is louder than hers. But I can tell he's so disciplined, he's not, he's not overriding his partner at all. Yes.
So much control, guys. Wow. Man, guys, <clears throat> I don't know really where to start a lot of times. When I see dancers that are in a different league for me for very specific reasons that I know and I have outlined, for reasons that have impacted me individually as a dancer, for reasons that are beyond what I can fully understand artistically, I love what I just saw. I love what I just saw. I got, to, I got to see a snapshot of who this dancer is in terms of dance, what their distinct personality is. I, I see that it correlates with what I've always known and what I always kind of expect. But what was profound in this video is that what I expected was trumped by the unexpected. His weaknesses that I thought he had before have been used as a strength in this video. I know he's boisterous. I know he's animated. I know he's funny as a dancer. But in this case, he used the quietness of his movement to amplify the loudness of his personality. I absolutely love that. I tell you, it is so inspiring for me when I see dancers who have made a significant impact on the genre continue to grow, continue to push themselves. And I am inspired by that. I really am. I think I would love to see more dancers mature at this rate. This dancer has been around for a long time. And he's seen a lot in terms of style. And I just, I kind of hurt because I would love to see more people love the art form as as much as I know this dancer does. I feel in many cases a lot of dancers just simply are in it for reasons that are just emotionally superficial. There's not a profound depth that's there. And I see these symptoms many times personified by how quickly people just mimic other dancers and they pretend that everybody's getting along and everybody love, love each other and there's a culture that's just connected but it's not based on love, it's based on fear. Fear of uniqueness and fear of rejection and fear of yourself. And I hurt when I don't see enough dancers do this. I'm 40 plus. I'm sure Tomas is almost there. But it's crazy to think that he's been around this whole time and there are not that many that have come behind him in my book that have been able to trump his unique personality on the dance floor. He's very unique at what he does. And the imitators that come, I'm sorry, there's, there's, it's just not as polished. They haven't put in as much work as what I see continually being done. This just was posted today. So happy Valentine's Day for you guys. But I'm telling you guys, I was super impressed let me tell you what I liked the most about this one. I mentioned his personality is a little bit more funny in his dancing. A lot of slides in his dancing. A lot of energy in his dancing. But I liked the quiet moments. I liked that I got a chance to see Carol. I don't even know her, but she was elevated because of his restraint in his dancing. 
He could have easily overshadowed her. But I can tell because of his love for the art form, he's constantly working on himself and his art. And because of that in this particular footage, she was elevated to a higher level. I've probably seen her before. I don't remember seeing her, but I see her in this one. I can appreciate her more in this one because she can dance clearly, but she was given the opportunity to shine because the leader was not busy just trying to impress the audience. When clearly his personality is designed for that, you know, just humor, get a reaction. So for me, that's a huge lesson in my dancing as a, as a professional is to, I need to take my strength and I need to connect it with other people. And, and I need to be aware that their strength might be the same as mine. Am I going to serve them so that they are lifted higher than me? Or am I going to just override them? Am I going to say that I, I'm only this personality and I won't budge and I won't be flexible? Not necessarily. I, this is what I feel when I watch that. Some of you are like, man, that's too deep, Jamie. It's not very deep. You know, it's, it's just dancing. No, it's more than that for me. It's just more than that. I think dancing is the conduit in which we exchange ideas and emotions. And it, it's much deeper than that. It's a spiritual thing. But I get to see in this performance someone who is so well gifted and talented from years of hard work and a natural gifting to hear rhythms and syncopation restrain himself to amplify the strength in his partner. Leaders, you better be taking notes. This is, this is the hardest thing to do. And I might say this is one of the best performances I've seen him do. Some of his better ones for me are when the crowds are smaller. A couple years ago, he did one, I think it was like in a, in a bar somewhere. And I, I, quickly, I quickly get those videos and I study them because it's hard to capture authentic moments of inspiration and control. Sometimes you have the inspiration, but the idea is not really polished to the best way of your ability because you're just emitting the emotion you feel in that moment. And those who are looking at you may not comprehend what you feel so deeply inside. It only takes a little bit of time, in most cases, to refine those ideas and then present them. And so, there's that weird dichotomy that people as artists, dancers have to deal with is, am I translating what I feel in a way that everybody else can see and feel it? And I think in this performance, he's done it. He's done that, that thing that is very, very hard to do. Wow. So what do you guys think about this one? I think this is a great performance. It's not choreographed, which is my favorite kind of Lindy Hop. I don't like a bunch of choreography. It's, it's a piece of jazz, but it isn't the foundation for jazz for me. I like call and response where we don't know what's going to happen. The dancers don't know what's going to happen. And I like it to live music where the musicians don't really know what's going to happen on a micro level. They got an idea on, on the big picture in terms of melody of the song. But I think there's something beautiful about that vulnerability with all of these parties in motion capturing something that's just just most the most intrinsically basic elemental things that people love and being able to capture those moments of singularity where they all meet together and evoke an emotion that's hard to do you can do it in choreography but it's fabricated and it gives me a different feeling so let me know what you guys thought about this improvisation from Thomas Blachat and Carol Martin. I don't know if she is French or not, but Carol Martin may not be saying that correctly, but I don't care. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this particular performance in the comment section. If you don't know how to social dance, you should check out my fundamentals membership below. It will get you an unbelievable head start. You will save so much time by knowing what's important and knowing what is subjective. And a lot of people don't know the difference, including many, many great dancers. And that's unfortunate, but not everybody has a streamlined way for you to be able to take the tools and practically process them yourself so that you know how to fix yourself. 
And that's exactly what we teach in our fundamentals membership. So check that out if you want to accelerate your learning curve. If you don't believe me, check out some of the sample courses below. We got about 30 different courses so you can get an idea of how we approach the dance, how we kind of demystify the complexity of it and focus more on new ideas and creativity to inspire you. We post new things every single week for our school online and a lot of those free courses will give you a taste of that. So let me know what you guys thought about this. I think this was extraordinary. Wow, I hope I get a chance to see him again in real life and just kind of vibe out and talk about ideas and dance. Um, I'm happy I got to see this pretty early on and I would love to hear what you think in the comments section. If I don't hear you guys comments below, hopefully I get a chance to assist you in maximizing your swing dance potential online. Take care.